Hey everybody, welcome back to Ready Steady Play. I'm still here under the command of Oswald the Platypus, being commanded to explore the land of Meteor Mountain in Near and Far. I'm Ollie, and I'm getting increasingly worried by how robotic he's becoming. Um, Even though you're the robot. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm worried. And let's face it, I have a reason to be, and I'm far more articulate than he is at this stage. You, um, this is your robot. He's like, a, you remind me of my more rudimentary kin. I've just realized what he is. This is why he has a pardon. You know ter the Terminators, right? Imagine a much more primitive culture trying to do that, and they just got lazy at the end. <laughs> so, I'm okay now, I swear. I don't kill all humans anymore. Just most of them. So I've got five hearts here, and I'm going to uh, go yes, for you, you an get, adventure. Because he gets hearts leaving because of his... Yep, so I've left town, yep. and I'm off on an adventure. I've got three movement to do that. Bugger, I know where he's going. So yeah, I've got to decide where I'm going to go. So many cool places to go. I'm just going to go have an adventure. The question is whether I go to Star Boulder, Hot Springs, or Forge. I can't get to Forge, can I? One, two, three, no. Well, I can, but it costs me two hearts, three hearts to get there. Well, no, you don't have enough moves. It's four oh, yeah, moves I away. also don't have enough moves. All right, well, let's just go to Star Boulder. Okay. Um, I'll have an adventure in Star Boulder. Also, that costs Boop. me a heart. Ugh. Boop. Okay, so what's the number? Uh, 40. 40. So... So the rule we said for this is whoever lands on it doesn't get to read it. Well, that's that's the way it's got to be done because the way the information is on the page. A young woman runs up to you, out of breath. Help, she says. My friend and I were investigating a meteor that attracts metal to it, and she got stuck. I don't like that Oswald is becoming this close to his end goal. <laughs> Oswald is like, yes, tell me more about this meteor. <laughs> you follow her and find a young woman in plate armour stuck to a large black rock in the middle of a crater. Skill 9... Pull her free, or skill five, help her out of her armor. Well, how much skill have you got? Uh, I've got two skill and two combat. So wait, skill nine, pull her free, yep. or skill five, help her out her armor. Yeah, so skill five, you well, would need a three up. I need a seven on a d6 um, to get <laughs> a skill nine. No, no, because you could, you could do hearts for more. Yeah, I could do four hearts, but I'd quite like to build a camp here on this trading spot. So yeah. let's go skill five. All right. See what happens. Help her out of her armor. Yeah, I mean... You dirty, dirty platypi. I suppose it's less creepy if you're being commanded. Yeah, we're all it. thralls being controlled by a platypus. I mean, he's literally just like, get away from my star metal. I must understand how it works. <laughs> Fair enough. So four. that's a four, five, six. So I'll spend a heart to go up to seven. Okay, so you get the additional bonus. Yeah, I get a bonus. So... After several minutes of pulling, squeezing, and contorting, the young woman is free. That armor was really expensive, she grumbles. Oh. Be more grateful, shouts her friend. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Be more grateful. <laughs> Fine, says the freed woman with a scowl. She gives you a small reward for your trouble. You gain one coin, one food, and red faction. So, one, one, and one. Neato. That was annoyingly good. Yes. So um, uh, that book disappears for all of time into yep. the sands of eternity. I wonder what would have happened if I got her out in that armor. Um, well, I know what would have happened, and believe me, it was bloody hilarious. I'm going to uh, build a camp here now. So that goes me, puts me down to zero hearts. I just dropped my little blue camp here on the star boulder. Yeah. This is uh, Oswald making the beginnings of the new Platypi Empire. Hmm. Oswald's okay. Like, this will be mine. And you're we going will to source this material. Uh, yes, yeah, because yes. I took a, the. It reveals a coin here on my player board. I'm really worried by his whole thing. Is I must understand magnetism, <laughs> and also I'm a robot. I really hope I'm not magnetic. Otherwise, this is going to be a really short adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to check on my Star Boulder camp. It's going to be like turn to adventure number blah blah. You, you find, find Ollie stuck you, to you a rock. You find Greer stuck to a rock. Help! Help! <laughs> Do you have strength nine? <laughs> And I'm like, uh, I choose to ignore this adventure. Yeah. I, I choose to fail this <laughs> I delivery. leave him stuck to the rock. I win. <laughs> you get. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to leave town, I guess. So I get four health. Four hearts, yeah. Yep. So I am going to go to... I can't believe I didn't get a reputation for that. I guess I would have got one if I'd gotten her up in the yeah. costume. No, it was... Uh, Although, ironically, the other reward was uh, a different faction bonus, weirdly. Yeah, I think it is like that, though, because it's the factions are all kind of themed around these different mm. ideas, so... Okay, I am going to move 
So you've got three movement. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to move one there and one there. So that cost me one heart. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the adventure. So that's, that's a terrible idea. You're a robot in the hot springs. <laughs> hey, that's 44. It says here, uh, what, 44? Oh, yeah. yeah. I just turned to page 44. You get the... Uh... Um, I was like, this is not right. Hey, I've got to stay away from the mountains. If you are Greer, you fall in and die. Really? I don't believe you. I'm just trying to keep you away from this, the... What? This is going to be interesting. Oh, bugger. An enormous toad wearing nose plugs stands guard before you. Oh, a pocked, dear. steaming mountain... Yeah. An enormous toad wearing nose plugs stands guard before a pocked, steaming mountainside covered with lush trees. So His false. tongue unrolls and smacks a bug on a nearby sign written in many different languages. You read. Meteor Mountain Hot Springs. Admission fee, one coin. Nose plugs, extra. <laughs> Bulls. <laughs> Looking behind the sign, it seems that the smaller craters, combined with a naturally heated water supply, do indeed make perfect, perfect bathing pools. Unless you're a robot. Shut up. <laughs> Although the smell is scarcely bearable, the healing effects of the springs are legendary. I don't have a nose. Yep, nor do you need healing. Yeah. You are sorely tempted to take a sock for some reason. You see that many other creatures are enjoying the benefits of this thermal oasis. I think your robot mind is like... Clearly, enjoyment is being had. Must discover. No, no. Is this cat yours? Is this cat yours? Is this cat yours? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you've got... Um, you know, cats love hot springs. You've actually got three options for this one. Oh, good. I hope one of them is something I can do. Yeah, so you've got two, which I'm going to read you first, and then go back to the first option. All right. The okay. first one... Uh, well, the second option is minus one coin, skill four. Pay one coin and bring the sulfur smell of the hot springs without nose plugs. Final option is two coins, skill four. Pay two coins and enter the Meteor Mountain Hot Springs buying nose plugs first. And then the top option, which is I'm afraid the one you're going to have to go with, skill four, attempt to sneak in without paying. Oh, I've got two skill. Uh, you do have two skill. So I only need a two. So you're going to attempt to sneak in without paying. This yeah. cat must be returned to its owner. <laughs> okay. Oh, two or higher would actually work, wouldn't it? Yeah, two up. Yeah. Way, you've got the bare minimum. Uh, do you want to spend hearts to go up? Uh, no, I want to put down a thing. You want to build a camp in there, I think. Yeah. Okay. You find some spoiled food in your rucksack and set it a little bit away from the entrance to attract flies, because you know you don't eat the food, so it just tends to go off. Well, it's only for the cat. The giant toad at the gate soon sees them and gets excited, flicking his tongue enthusi enthusiastically. Cool. You use this moment to sneak inside. You spend an hour soaking in the healing heated pools of Meteor Mountain and sneak away feeling enormously refreshed, relaxed, and a little guilty. It's a mineral spring. Uh, it's a mineral spring, even. Feeling guilty? Uh, yeah. So it says here, uh, minus one reputation, yep. green faction, gain mm. a heart. It also says Q31. What the hell is Q31? I'm really regretting giving away those gambling dice. That would have been like the amount of green guys, and I've just got one to make them cheaper. Okay, Q31 is a side quest. Ooh. So if you write that down somewhere, um, ow. What it means, I think, is what you can do is the next time you go to a storybook, instead of doing the numbered value, you can just go, scrap this. I want to have uh, my side quest instead. Okay. And then I'll go to Q31 and redo that instead. Okay. Um, so you're supposed to write them down on these pieces of paper. I'll do it really, 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 really lightly. Um, that's okay. Well, well, we've got it on video. We know that you've got side quest Q31. Fair enough. So um, that's you for the hot springs. What's the plan now? I'm going to put down a camp. So three. Leave me with one. And I get a coin. And I also get... This I thought set. you had three left. I got plus one. You said okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's correct. Yeah. From the hot springs. Yes. So they weren't completely worthless. So I gain a heart, uh, I gain a coin from that because it was my first one. And then I gain, uh, what's that? Uh, two gems. Two gems. Cool. And I think that's it. Yeah. Cool. So back to me then. Yes. Well, I've run out of hearts, so I'm going to return to the town. Aw. Oh. Teleporting. Um. Why have you got... Oh, minus one reputation, because you just 
stole the hospitals. Yeah, still not as bad as you though. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What is anyone else? You're a mind controlling platypus that's enslaved people. Still not as bad as you. Nobody knows. I do. Because I have a metal mind. The trouble I feel. Hurry up and do something. Nobody knows my sorrow. Please stop singing. <laughs> Um, you don't understand this, but every time the camera cuts out, he starts serenading me, and it's creepy. Uh, Oswald will do as he pleases. I have no control over it. <laughs> um, quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go to the, the general store and grab a... Grab a coin, I think. Okay. Um... Hmm. Oh, that was stupid. Was it? Yeah. You want to redo? Yeah. I just realized I forgot I had the red faction banner. I wanted to buy this lizard man. And I was like, I need three coins, but I don't. I just need two. Okay. So I'll don't let you redo it. Yeah, yeah thanks, Ollie. So Cause he I, can. Because I'm not a douche like a certain duck billed platypus. Oswald, uh, o- Oswald can't hear you. <laughs> because I'm. I can shout louder if only you like. Only the thrall is here. Replace. No, don't anger Oswald. Don't make him mad. <laughs> Replace. There are two people that I care about in my party. I'm one of them, and I'm made of metal, and the other one's a cat. I don't think you can mind control a cat. So we've got here um, a hog folk Ooh. called... Wait a minute. Patrick. Wait a minute. That's bacon. That's... God, that's... That's, that's, uh, that's horse bacon. I... Yeah. I don't know if he's lying to me. Well, because in this land, horses aren't used at all for riding. Yeah, we use pack birds and tortai. Can you even make bacon from horse meat? Like, in near same... and far, you can. Okay. <laughs> I know you're lying to me, but I don't really want to go into why. Okay, so it's uh, your go now. Okay, I'm going to teleport back to town. I'm going to go to the general store, gain a coin. And now, I am going to spend two coin and a gem. For my singing skull! This is why I needed a pardon. I've got someone's skull and it sings to me. I gain reputation when I visit the saloon. I don't know why that's a thing, but damn, is it awesome. That's hilarious. I know. That's really good. I looked at that and I was like, I want to keep that. Even if, if, even if it does me no good, I want to keep it. I can't get any of my things yet. Aww. Okay. So, um, right, you went to the, gen- mm-hmm. the general store, didn't you? I okay. Did. So I think uh, I think I'll stop off at the stables and purchase a pack bird. I was surprised you didn't last time. I didn't have. I don't think I had any food. Mm-hmm. Cool. So um, I think I will go to the farm and I'll pick up some more food. So I get two more. Nice. Cool. And it's on you. Right. Well, uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hit the road again. On the road again. Yeah, I mean, I like to be adventuring. So that's five, six, seven, eight hearts I've got. Wow. Oh, wow. Boop. Eight hearts. Now, this is what I really want. So how do I get this? Actually, I could get that quite easily by doing other things. Okay, where am I going? I don't know. No, do I? Um. Hmm. One. Yeah. Oh no! Fight! So you lose a heart for crossing the empty space. Yep. Yep. And now you've got a bandit. Well, actually, I don't lose it yet because I've not actually passed it yet. If I lose this fight, I'll be going back. Does that not still count? You've got to pass it. Okay. Fight the bandit then. I'm pretty sure you can win. You've got three on your there. So as long as you roll a one. <laughs> uh, one up. Let's do it. Did I, it. Did anyone else want him to roll a one just for the hell of it? No, but the one still would have done it. I know, but it would have just been funnier. <laughs> uh, yes. A son of mine comes. So there we go. The, the little card goes up there. Can you get another coin? Yeah. Pillaging the dead. So then I go That's my here. thing. There's a heart. And then we'll go over here to the gem. There's another heart. Yeah, and then we'll go up to the forge. Uh, and have an adventure. Uh, what's the number? Uh, 33. 33. I like this. This is my favorite part. Shut this up. is my favorite part. Shut up. Oh. I'm preparing my voice for the... <laughs> 
I would be really happy if at some point in the editorial voiceover you could do it with like someone who's really authoritarian and like, <laughs> well, like replace your voice with Kevin Spacey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd have gone with Alan Rickman, but I bet he passed away. I know. You come to a great forge cut into the mountain. The weaponsmith, a dried old branch of a man in a blindfold. A blind weapon. Wow. Good luck. Invites you inside where the furnace glows hot and the walls are lined with swords and blades of every kind. Some are narrow and curved at the point. Others are intricately engraved and bound with fine leather. These old bones would ask for assistance, he said. I have much work to do. Skill seven, help the weaponsmith at the forge. Skill five, deliver a package to Macria for the smith. Which one are you going to go for? You low-skilled person, you. So I could be like a weaponsmith at skill seven, I could be like a delivery guy at skill five. Yeah. Woo! I'm a delivery boy! <laughs> I love... Hold on. Roll your dice. Sir. No, I, I don't know. I think I might actually try and go for the higher one. Oh, all right. I just wanted to make the reference. Damn it. Um, the, um... I just like the idea of Oswald being like, No, you fool! I don't have time to make weapons! Tell me about how I forged this metal! <laughs> it's not right. always the same metal, but fair enough. So, if I get... So I've got five hearts. Yep. And that'll prevent me from building a camp. But to be honest, this is just my favorite thing. I just really want adventure. I don't want to be a delivery man. I want to be a weaponsmith. Yeah. Damn it. Where I also you... destroyed your hot springs camp. Yeah, and that moved, didn't it? No, that was oh, there. Cool. All right. So um, so wait, that's six, seven, eight. Nine. So I'll... Isn't that six, seven, eight? Oh, cool. Because it's skill, right? Yeah. So then I'll drop a heart to go up to nine. Okay, so... The blind smith makes a set of iron hammers and thanks you for pumping the bellows. Did you think you were going to learn how to smith? Travelling east, he asks. I'm rebuilding an ancient blade and require some lightning ore from the lowland mines. Bring me some and I will make you a blade. Plus one reputation. Red faction. God, you're getting loads of them. Hmm. One coin, which is added to another coin because you rolled a nine. And you get Q14. That's available. awesome. We've both got side quests now. Yes, we do. Write it on the other thing, you dimwit. Right. Side quests go down here. Oh, yeah. So what else are you doing, sir? Uh, and then I'll make a camp. Yes. Cool. Making camps, making camps on the trade routes. Damn you to Hades. <laughs> it's so rude. Well, you were threatening me then. <laughs> so rude. So uh, why don't we find out me? what uh, Greer's next move is tomorrow on Ready Steady Play? Well, he's going to try and send assassins after you, but he's got no money, so <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. So he's going to start trying to finance his assassination. It's an assassination drive. <laughs> hey, I'm protecting humanity from the strange onslaught of the psychic platypus. It's true. I honestly can't fault you for your actions. They're completely justified. I did go from there to there directly, didn't I? You did. But I do have four movements, so that's allowed. Yes. I forgot to check that I could do that. Got cool. to look out from cheating again. Yes, it's not cheating if you it's an accident. <laughs> yes, it is. Comment if you agree. <laughs> yes. Comment on this divisive issue below. And uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss tomorrow's continuing adventures of Greer and Oswald. And uh, throw down a like on the video if you're enjoying this series. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.